Required manual earth drill. Here we go, let's place the C4. Is that enough? Was that enough? Let's go here. Resources found. So what I found, six titanium ores for one C4. Hello guys, it is me, Happy Sark, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So I have great news today. We're gonna be assembling the lighthouse because yesterday we've done a live stream and I've grinded lots of sand. I've grinded lots of quartz. So now we have enough cement. I also have enough glass. We have enough fiberglass. So without any further ado, let's just go to that lighthouse. First of all, I'm going to draw. Oh no, I don't even need that gasoline. I brought with me more gasoline, but apparently I have enough. I'm gonna drop these water pumps and my C force inside of the motorboat. I'm not even sure if I require those water pumps. I've just heard that you need those water pumps to get rid of the water inside of the caves. I'm not sure how that works. I don't even know if someone's trying to bamboozle me or not. But I also want to take this manual earth drill with me because hey, I need to get that titanium. And also, as you can see, I brought with me lots of weapons because I am not planning to die inside of those caves. If I die, I'm gonna lose my manual earth drill and that's not fun at all. So here we go, let's swim on our boat to this watchtower. And I said that during the previous live stream, but I do enjoy that we had to assemble this lighthouse because when I assembled the ATV, there was nothing else to assemble. And here, after we assembled the boat, we had to assemble the lighthouse. We had to gather like those new resources such as sand and quartz. So that gets our approval. Now, let's just drag the cement. It was quite tough to get 100 cement, but hey, we did it. We totally did it. Let's drop this. Let's drop a little bit of glass. Let's drop the steel. And let's drop my fiberglass just like this, baby. Let's find Finalize that. So that's it. I finalized the lighthouse. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now we have to fight those pirates once again for some reason because they keep respawning. I'm not sure if it only happened to me or that happened to all of you guys. But yeah, yesterday on the live stream, I went back to this watchtower and I saw that all of these pirates are alive. So I'm gonna put all of these pirates to sleep sleep once again. I still don't understand why some of these pirates have flippers or masks on the land. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. Here go, let's deal with another pirate, another pirate. I'm gonna waste all of these weapons even before I get to the caves. Maybe I should have brought an extra armor with me, but it's fine. I think one SWAT armor should be enough. So probably more zombies are gonna spawn as... Don't tell me I have to repair it. Oh, it's already repaired. Well, at least I don't have to repair uh, repair that. Let's deal with... Here we go, look at this. Why does he have like that scuba mask? It makes no sense. It literally <laughs> makes no sense. Here we go, let's take an AK and let's activate the thing. New data loaded. Well, that's it. The zombies didn't even attack me. That's it, guys. New data loaded. We are gonna go outside and we will see those caves and probably we're gonna see that oil mining rig or whatever that is that we can't go there because probably we require that helicopter. Who knows? Whatever. We're gonna speculate about that just in one second. I wanna see my new locations. I've just heard the sound and just look at this, baby. <laughs> this is so cool. So here we go. We have the oil rig. Can't be found. Okay, so we can find chests, whatever, blah, blah. Too far away. Transport required and we required to have this helicopter. So I'm pretty sure we are going to get that helicopter one day as I already made a video about it that probably next vehicle that's going to come to the game is going to be the helicopter because I do think that developers started taking this port location seriously and this is just so cool. I love it. Hopefully that helicopter is going to come one day after helicopter to come, probably we're gonna get this bunker Charlie. So there's still some content that's about to come to the game, but let's go to this dead. Uh, oh, it's called cool <laughs> dead island. I like it. Let's go, guys, to the dead island. Cyrix, Cyrix, show them the mug. Oh, thanks for reminding that. Really appreciate that. So make sure to check out this go to sleep mug because we are putting zombies to sleep and you can go to sleep yourself by getting this epic go to sleep mug. You can also get go to sleep shirts, go to sleep hoodies. Link is down in the description. Huge thanks to all of those who've already gotten Cyrix merch. Thanks for supporting the channel. Now let's up inside and let's see what it's all about. I already brought with me those water pumps. I brought with me manual earth drill. Maybe I should add some more gasoline here. Go just like this and I'm gonna add my manual earth drill back inside of the motorboat just in case if I die I don't want to lose it because I'm not sure if this location resets probably it doesn't reset I mean it probably resets automatically that's what I'm trying to say here so if I die I'm not gonna be able to get back my resources oh groaner oh we got new zombies that just drop rope all right all right all right all right let's smash some more of these zombies stormtrooper what are these zombies why are they so tough? How much damage do you do? 10 damage with SWAT armor. All right, it's still probably not that bad. You could still probably smash most of them with your melee weapons. Here you can also get oak. That's okay. Can I go and smash this guy? Oh no, smashing them with your melee weapons is gonna take lots of and lots of time. So probably you'll have to use your AKs, probably. Okay, so as soon as I'm gonna have one shot left in AK, I'm gonna use that grenade launcher shot. 
So probably about like right now. I mean, no, right now I don't want to waste it because there's only one zombie, so I'd rather use that grenade launcher shot a bit later. Do they drop anything useful besides rope? No, they just drop goop. They just drop rope and that's it. Okay, so where are those caves? I still haven't even found them. I just found... Look at these zombies! Maybe I don't have to fight them. I'll try to avoid them because it's really weird to kill all of these zombies. Maybe I really don't need to fight them. Maybe you need to avoid them. Oh no, they just saw me. They just saw me from far away. Well, I'm just gonna go over here healing up. And uh, probably could have done that easier. Oh no, I brought this stupid M16. I hate it. I hate it. I hate that M16 with the silencer. It misses so much. Where are the caves though? What's up with those stormtroopers? Why there's so many of them? Look at them. They have insane uh, defense. They have like over 50% defense. My guns do 50% less damage. So probably that's why those equalizers would be useful here, right? But again, those equalizers miss a, miss a little bit, but probably equalizers are going to be nice for this location. Okay, so here we go. I see the cave. And is that titanium? What is it? Require the pickaxe. No! Wait, is it titanium or is it iron? Is it titanium or is it iron? I didn't bring a pickaxe! Well, let's get back to the base for the pickaxe. I know that I'll have to fight those stormtroopers once again, but I'm just gonna drive back to the port location. I am gonna bring more weapons with me. I'm gonna get a level 2 pickaxe because I'm pretty sure that's titanium or maybe that's just iron. I think that's just iron. There's no way that was titanium. So here we go. Crafted three pickaxes. That should be enough. But the more I think about it, the more it makes sense that that's going to be titanium because you can get titanium titanium ore and smelt it in your furnace so that probably was titanium so let's drive to this dead island it's cool that we don't have to go back to this watchtower to get to that dead island and as i said many times this update is probably the best update we've ever gotten like probably next best season is going to be season three season season three <laughs> season three season uh, now why do they keep attacking me from so far away how do they see me do you have to sneak all the time? Look at this, another just groaner. Oh no, more of them are attacking me and stupid stormtroopers. Oh wow, they just take so much damage from your guns. Wow, this location is tough. This is tough. This is a tough location. So you have to sneak basically all the time. I'm just going to sneak. That's it. I'm never going to run anymore. I'll try to avoid most of these stormtroopers if that that's not possible. I honestly have no idea how I'm going to do this. It feels like it's legitimately impossible to avoid any of those stormtroopers. Like, they're just too hard. They will keep seeing you unless you'll be careful. Unless you're careful like me. Okay, so here we go. There's the... Please tell me this is not iron. 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 Iron ore. And iron ore more. And I got bauxite like goop. Seriously, just goop. I'm so disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I can't believe it. Why would they troll us like this? Why would they add iron here? Who thought that it's a great idea to add iron to this place? Why? I mean, you could get bauxite probably. Maybe these thingies have like guaranteed bauxite. Three iron? Oh no, they didn't even have guaranteed bauxite. So what was the point of this? What was the actual point of all of that? Okay, I'm gonna bring another AK with me. Oh wow, that's a lot of guns needed. And a frenzy giant! Wait, is this at least real Frenzy Giant? I want to see how much damage this Frenzy Giant is going to do. Is it going to be like a real or a fakey fakey Frenzy Giant? Real Frenzy Giant, dude! This is a real Frenzy Giant from Bunker Alpha. Oh, he even dropped red coupon. All right. Oh, no, here we go. Another Groaner. So apparently you don't have to kill all of these zombies. Just try to avoid some of them. Okay, let's hop inside of the cave. This is it, baby! We are here. Okay, Pale Zomzom. -zom. How much damage do those Pale Zomzoms -zom do? Two damage. What's up with those Pale Zomzoms? -zom? Why they are so easy then? Okay. All right, kind of sad. Okay, Pale Bloater. I'm glad that they added new design for these zombies. That gets extra pull. Finally, we see something new, not just reused. Not reused zombies that we've seen in the past. So this has got to be titanium. I see that that's titanium, guys. I see this ore, and that's titanium. Oh, that's not even simple ore. The, that's the ore where you have to drill. I mean, th that's why they do only two damage, because there's lots of them. Okay. I see it now. I see it now. Let's get the spread shot. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that spread shot. It just shot automatically. Here go this lurker. We could probably deal with them with my stupid thingy. So you do have to have a little bit of guns here just to clear this cave location. Kind of sad that again, titanium is 100% useless currently. There is nothing you can craft with it. What's that? You can craft Kevlar armor! You can't craft Kevlar armor. It costs like 50 titanium to craft entire Kevlar armor set. Maybe a bit less. But you got the point. Who on earth is going... Oh, no, I used... I lost all of my armor by fighting this stupid lurker. Look at my armor. I'm going to die here. I am legit going to die. And I forgot to upgrade my AKs with that grenade launcher mod. Because with that grenade launcher mod, you do more damage. Okay, so that's titanium. That's gotta be titanium as well. Everything requires an electric drill. That's cool. 
So wait, that's it? That's the entire cave? I can get a limestone. Yay, that's beautiful. I mean, I hope that cave is gonna be a bit bigger. Can you, like, get to other places? I mean, I have only one C4. Can I use that C4 somewhere else? Let's say I'm gonna go over here. Can I place... Uh, required manual earth drill. When I go over here... Oh, so that place requires a titanium. I mean, requires a C4. Here go. Let's place a C4. Is that enough? Was that enough? Let's go here. Resources found. So what I found... Six titanium ores for one C4. All right. All right. I mean... For some reason, <laughs> the excitement falls down for me. I'm not really sure if it's for all of you guys. How do you feel so far? For me, it feels like excitement keeps going down. I mean, I thought that this location is going to be a bit bigger. Oh, I see another cave. Okay, so that's it. My excitement goes back up. <laughs> My excitement goes back up. I thought there was only one useless measle cave, but it looks like there are more caves here. That's it. Excitement <laughs> just went back up. Okay, cool. I just maybe wish that those tunnels were a bit bigger. Like in Westland Survival, there are those caves. I don't really remember how that place is called. But yeah, there are a bunch of caves where you can run around. So I thought this is going to be some sort of Westland Survival type cave. But it's just a small, tiny, bitty, bitty cave. Whatever, let's get back to the boat. Let's take my manual earth drill. Well, I don't have anything else in my inbox besides ghillie armor. So I think I'm going to take ghillie suit. We have lots of them. So let's use that ghillie armor. It's probably not super worth it. Wait, let's delete something. I'm going to delete that one bauxite. Now let's take this ghillie hood. So, here we go, I'll be able to equip the ghillie suit. We have only 23 armor, and with SWAT armor, we got 32. Ah, the ghillie suit doesn't even protect you that much. What's the point of that ghillie suit? Why is it so useless? Why can't ghillie suit give you, like, 30 protection just as the SWAT armor? Ghillie suits are so rare. Why would they nerf them? I mean, they were always nerfed. They were never good, but you got the point. Why are they so bad? Whatever, let's go over here. Let's try to use the manual earth drill. Let's see how it's going to work. Here, go. let's go. You know what? Let's start from this cave, then. Because I have the manual earth drill. Can I equip it? No, I can't equip it. We can only equip it from over here. Okay, I started drilling it. Oh, you have to hold it! Okay, I'm holding it right now. You don't click it, you have to hold there. Ooh, two titanium ore. And it just went straight into my pocket. And used only a little bit of durability for that titanium earth drill. I mean, a manual earth drill. It's not that bad then. I thought we're gonna lose a lot more durability. Here we go, let's get everything here. Only one titanium ore, no, only one. Only one, are you kidding me? This is disgusting. Only one. Can I equip this titanium earth drill? No, I still can't equip it. Like it says it does a little bit of damage, but you can't use it to damage other zombies. So apparently I will require one extra C4. So let's get back to my boat once again and let's try to get that extra C4 for another titanium ore. So I'm going to drop probably... I don't even know what. Well, I'm probably gonna drop this titanium ore into my boat just to not lose it. Here, go. let's get this. Why do people... Why did people tell me that you require water pumps? To get rid of the water inside of the caves. I got trolled and bamboozled again. What's up with that? I don't get it. In the beginning, people bamboozled me that you require... Ga that you don't need gasoline for your boat. Then they bamboozled me that you require water pumps for the caves. Or maybe you do require water pumps. Maybe they didn't bamboozle me yet. I mean, we'll see. Let's go over here. <gasps> zombie bear, dude! A zombie bear! How much damage am I gonna do to him? Uh, how much damage does he do to me? Okay, here, here we go. He started screaming. Uh, 27 damage with bleeding effect! This isn't fun at all! Well, here I was able to put him to sleep. Sleep. The bleeding effect is pretty... Oh my god, look at this bleeding effect! Okay, here we go. The things just got real. How longer will this bleeding effect last? Maybe stop! Thank you! Wow, that was tough. That was legitimately tough. And we need to drink again. I seriously hate drinking in this game. You'll drink, you'll need to pee pee, you'll start stinking, and everything gets annoying. <laughs> I want the stinking meter to be removed from the game. Okay, pale zombies. I'm just gonna probably... I shouldn't have maybe aggroed all of them at the same time. Or maybe that's all right. Whatever, let's deal with them. Wait, what if... Oh, zombie bear dropped us some meat. I'm gonna eat that meat. And... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the rope just to take those big bones. Even I don't need those big bones. We have lots of them already at the base, but who cares? Here we go. Let's deal with this pale bloater. Okay, so this cave is a bit bigger. This cave is a bit bigger. Okay, so here we go. My mood is a bit better. I, <laughs> I like it. I like it. The cave is a bit, a bit bigger. I still wish they would maybe connect. There was something else rather than just like those simple zombies. I feel like there is so much more that could make these caves a lot better. But at least there are two caves. At least they're a little bit bigger. And that's nice. 
Is there anything else that I could get? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I didn't require the water pump. I got trolled and bamboozled. Unless there is going to be another scenario where you actually require a water pump here. Which we're going to try out today once again. Here go, boom, we exploded. So how much titanium we're going to get from it? Resources found and we got six titanium. So from one explosion you get basically six to seven titanium. Last time I've got a seven. Or six, I don't remember. Whatever, here we go, let's use my manual earth drill. Let's drill the thingy. Two titanium, one titanium, here we go. We've gotten two titanium ores, and let's get two extra titanium ores. So I already have nine titanium in my boat. And how much titanium we're gonna get here? 11, probably. We're gonna get 11 titanium, so technically you can get a uh, stack of titanium ore each time you come here. That's probably the goal of this map, to get a stack of titanium. All right. But you require 2C4s for that. You require 2C4s for a stack of titanium. So I'm gonna try to get back to this location once again. And obviously then we're gonna get back to the base. We're gonna smelt this titanium or into titanium. And the only thing that I could craft with that titanium is this hand pump. That's it, there's nothing else that we can craft. I honestly just can't wait to see more updates that are gonna update this board location. It's still like no matter what, even though titanium is goop right now, it's useless. I still think that this is one of the best seasons we've had. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get more first aid kits. I'm going to drop the stack of titanium into my boat. Oh no, some dude just followed me. I'm going to just drop my stack of titanium over here. I'm going to deal with that groaner. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Oh no, once again, those groaners probably are going to see you no matter what. Oh, that's it. They spit a lot. They spit a lot. No, I'm dead. I am legitimately dead. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm dead here. Guys, I am dead. I'm spamming my groaner. Die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yikes. That's good that I had some. Well, here, I'm going to equip a ghillie suit real quick. I'm going to get back this. I barely survived. I thought that said sayonara, my manual earth drill. <laughs> I panicked a little bit. I panicked for my manual earth drill. Let's get this goop. So yeah, this location isn't joking with you. It's not kidding around. So yeah, be careful when you're gonna go to the cave locations here. I mean, obviously, why would you go here? You're gonna get a little bit of titanium and you'll stop going here unless that titanium becomes useful. Only crazy people will go here. Oh wait, it even it lo even looks the same. Even zombies spawn in the same places now. Please tell me it's a bit different. Please tell me sometimes you get different variations. That not everything is the same. But so far, two exact same caves as in the past. All right, let's go further in. Right, here we go, I have the spread shot. Can I like, let's say, shoot this pale zombie? Okay, so only two of them are gonna attack me. So I'll try to aggro the least amount of zombies as possible to save more armor. Here, I'm gonna shoot this, this pale bloater. So now a pale bloater. You could probably fight them even with your melee weapons. as They don't do that much damage if we're gonna get one by one. If we'll get them one by one. Here we go, another pale zombie. Now we can do a spread shot. Oh no, I wasted that spread shot. That was a complete waste of spread shot. Can you not fight the lurker, but the pale zombie, please? Here we go, let's fight the pale zombie. Let's deal with the lurker. Another pale zom zom and another pale bloater. Oh no, I'm out of weapons. Here we go, let's use this. And that's it, let's get my M16. So it seems like exactly the same location once again. Why do they require those? Oh no, I don't have C4s. Wait, we should have some C4s inside of my inbox. Let's get another stack of titanium ore then. Here we go, we have some 19 uh, of those C4s. Let's place one C4 over here. Boom, it exploded. We're gonna get probably six or seven. Probably resources found. We've gotten six titanium ores. Let's drill another ore here. So you know what? Maybe that manual earth drill isn't that expensive. I mean, I need to know how much titanium ore can you actually get with this one manual earth drill. So wait, one location gives you about seven titanium with this manual earth drill. So here we go. Now we've gotten six titanium ores. So probably those C4s will give us less titanium then. I don't know. I'm just interested if you can get enough titanium ores with your manual earth drill to craft another manual earth drill because it costs five? How expensive is it? Where is that manual earth drill? Here we go. It costs five titanium bars. I'm not really sure how many titanium ores you need to craft those five titanium bars, which we are gonna see really soon, but it's interesting. If you can get enough titanium ores to craft another manual earth drill. So the, the zombie bear isn't here. Last time it was here, now it's gone. So maybe, you know what? The scenarios are different each time. I just got in luck and I got two same scenarios in a row. Because this one feels a bit different, no? Is it a bit different? I have no idea. Well, here we go. Pale bloater. Oh no, that stupid M16. That misses so much. Look at this, just three shots and it misses. Three, four shots and it's gonna start missing. Well, so I'm gonna be very careful. I'm not gonna let it miss. So this time I didn't even see like that infected bear. 
Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we're gonna get another place where we can explode that uh, titanium ore thingy. Let's go over here. Boom. And here we're gonna get... I don't even know how much titanium we've gotten. So wait, from these two things, we're gonna get only one titanium now. Are we? We're only gonna get one titanium ore. Is it even worth drilling? Is it even worth wasting your drill? Probably. Here we go. We've gotten one titanium ore. And here we're gonna get one extra titanium ore. Oh wow, here we go. Two extra titanium ore. So we've gotten 21 titanium. You don't always get only 20. Sometimes you get more. Okay. I wish these places gave you titanium as well. Ooh, you can also get titanium fragment pieces! Uh, fragments of titanium armor suit. Okay, guys, so I'm sorry. I probably missed them. Some of you maybe were screaming already the day so you can find them. Uh, but okay, you don't really get lots of titanium from them. I recycled probably a stack of those uh, armor titanium pieces and I've gotten nothing. So you know what? They're kind of useless. Okay, so here we go. There's our boat. I'm gonna drop this stack of titanium back inside of the chopper. And you know what? Let's go for one extra dead island. So looking at my manual earth drill, we already have about like only 50... 40% durability. And I'll have to use extra C4s. Are you kidding me? So many C4s. Like, that's just an insane amount of C4s. Wait, I'll try to sneak through everything. Maybe you can avoid some of them. Can you? Or they'll attack you no matter what. I think they'll attack you no matter what. Here we go. One of those groaners. Sayonara. Sneaking, sneaking. Oh, no. Those groaners will attack you no matter what. And then stormtroopers. I hate them. I hate those stormtroopers. And I'm running out of guns, dude. This place requires an insane amount of guns, too. And it doesn't matter if it's guns or melee weapons. You'll require to use more healing items and armors then. But uh, just yikes. So probably this is going to be our last titanium location that we are clearing and coming here without c4s it's kind of useless as you'll get what probably only 10 titanium ores here go another titanium armor suit and it again looks like to be in the same spot as the previous one all right we're gonna heal up with a bandage to not waste my first aid kit as we already wasted so many of those first aid kits so here we go this is another same location without that infected bear. So maybe there is a place that requires your water pump to pump out the water from the caves, but I think they bamboozled me. I was bamboozled for a fact. Well, whatever, I'll deal with those pale bloaters because I remember a common, and even for a few people that I saw, you'll require 10 pumps for something. I don't remember why though. Whatever, let's use another. Oh, I don't have enough C4s, huh? You know what? Let's try to use those C4s at the very end. Uh, let's try to just use the titanium drill and here we go. We already have one titanium or let's see how much titanium we can get without exploding those ore nodes or whatever they're called. Here we go. One titanium ore. So it probably doesn't matter if you explode them first or you explode them last. Here we go. Let's get more titanium. Three titanium ores. I'll try to go to another cave to get more titanium there. Oh no. Well, we'll have to fight them again because that stupid zombie just saw me. They see you from so far away. Let's heal up and let's go into another cave. Maybe here we're gonna find that infected bear. And my guy's thirsty. Are you kidding me? Here go. Eat those beans. It's so annoying to waste so much food. It's so expensive to eat beans for thirst. Okay, so I'll deal with a couple of pale zomzoms. I wanted to aggro all of them just to use my spread shot. But I don't think it's that worth it as I'll just waste more armor. So here we go, I'll gather Zo those zombies. Why don't they even see me? Sometimes they see you from far, far, from far away. Sometimes they don't. Here we go, dead. So we're gonna get here another lurker, obviously. Yeah, yeah, here we go. There's the lurker. Here comes the lurker. Here we go, let's deal with the pale zomzoms. Another pale zomzom. Go on, pale zomzom, come after me. I want to kill you first. Here we go, dead. Let's deal with the lurker. You can kill probably the lurker with your melee weapons, but I didn't really bring any besides that stupid uh, skull crusher, so it's useless. Let's take another AK, and let's deal with the last two zombies in this place. Here we go, dead. So once again, another exactly same cave. Kind of sad if you ask me. Kind of really sad. <laughs> I expected it to be better. Okay, whatever. Let's drill this goo. Here we're gonna get one titanium ore. And from this one, we will get three titanium ores. So we've gotten eight, basically. We've gotten eight titanium ores. Because we already had that one titanium ore before we came here. Let's try to take two extra C4s. Because, again, I'm not going to waste so many weapons to come here without C4s. But C4s are quite expensive. Especially if you're doing raids. Now C4s are going to be even a higher bottleneck. All right, here we go. Resources found. So we have 15 titanium now. Excuse me, 15 titanium ore is not titanium. Uh, let's go now to another cave. And over here, we'll be able to place one more C4. So let's do it. Let's just do it. Boom. 
And now we're probably gonna have over a stack of titanium. So we have stack and one. So we basically got an exactly stack of titanium in this location. So I have three stacks of titanium now. You can also get here oak trees if you want. But why would you do that? So can we leave this place from this side? Yes, we can. Yes, indeed we can. I'm hopping back inside of the same dead island. And I'll check these corners. Maybe I've missed something here, but there's nothing here. I haven't missed anything. I just want to make sure that I've checked there. Oh no, another groaner. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Whatever, I'm gonna aggro them, but I'm not gonna fight them yet. I'll just check every single side. Maybe I'll find more titanium armor pieces. Oh no, they'll- st I'll get stuck here real soon. I'll get stuck here real soon. Well, I didn't see any other titanium thingies, so that's it, I'm skedaddling. There are only two caves. You use two C4s and sometimes you're gonna find an infected bear for no reason. He's gonna drop you only one... bone. But probably... By the time you unlock your infected caves here, I mean dead island night infected caves, you will already have enough of those big bones. So that infected bear is kind of useless. So we are back at the port location. Let's take my titanium ores. Let's take this goop and let's take my water pumps, correct? And my entire manual earth drill is almost gone. I'll just do some really rough calculations right now, just to approximately calculate how much titanium ores you can get with your manual earth drill. So I kind of calculated that you can get around 28 titanium ore with that entire manual earth drill. So let's say be generous and let's say that it can get 30 titanium ore. And again, I'm just judging by the RNG that I had and I assume that this is going to be enough to clear extra two caves. So that means you can clear four caves. I mean, not really four caves. You can clear four dead islands fully with one manual earth drill, perhaps, maybe, yes, I don't know. In any case, let's say you get 30 titanium ore with manual earth drill, probably, probably you get less. So to get one titanium bar, you require three titanium ores. <laughs> and two copper! Are you actual? <laughs> I just noticed that you require two copper! Two copper, dude, who would craft titanium? Well, perhaps I would craft it <laughs> for the memes. Do I have anything in my recycler? Have I gotten any titanium? No, I've gotten nothing. Again, only one stupid aluminum bar. Okay, so I'm gonna try to craft that titanium, correct? Let's drop here sand. Let's drop here copper bars. Let's drop my titanium ore. And we also need to add one aluminum, correct? Here we go, let's add that one aluminum. Let's go, baby. Let's add the aluminum and let's start smelting it. So it's gonna take one hour and 30 minutes to smelt. Here we go, let's get that one titanium. We can get probably more but I am gonna stop it for now. I'm going to stop it for now. So we've gotten one titanium bar out of two copper bars. So you require 10 copper bars to craft one manual earth drill. And with that one manual earth drill, you'll be able to get around 30 titanium ore. And with that 30 titanium ore, you can craft 10 titanium. And half of that titanium is gonna go back into your another manual earth drill. So all I just have to say, confused unga boonga noises. I'm going to calculate now how much titanium you need to craft entire Kevlar armor and how much steel you need for it. So you require 62 titanium to craft titanium armor. So that's already 124 steel just for this armor without even counting those pieces of steel. Let's add them. So in total, you require 104 40 steel to craft Kevlar armor. So that's probably the most annoying part about this update because developers were really proud to say like, oh, we added titanium, you'll be able to craft armor with it and you'll be able to craft guns with it. And whilst developers weren't wrong, but like seriously, 140 steel? just for Kevlar armor, like really? It's not even comprehensive, like even 10 steel, dude. And the same thing goes for Glock, so you require 50 titanium, that's like 30 steel to craft one Glock. Like who on earth is going to craft it? I'm not even talking about those carbon composites. And how on earth are you supposed to get gunpowder? You probably can get gunpowder only from Bunker Bravo, if I'm not mistaken. So what, you need to unlock Bunker Bravo to craft Glocks with 15 titanium, 15 titanium. Even if it was probably one titanium, I'm not sure if it was worth it, maybe. But even then with one titanium, I would have to question <laughs> if it's worth it to craft it. And here we go. An M16 requires you 17 titanium. I, I just can't. I just can't believe it, mate. So 30 steel for one Glock and 34 steel for an M16. <laughs> <laughs> Num 16 even costs five carbon composites. So you know what? I'm gonna try to smelt all of this goop just so that I could craft that titanium pump. It's gonna cost us 15 titanium. Yikes! It's gonna cost so much copper though. I don't want to waste my copper. But let's just do it. 
for the science. See, I'll probably start smelting my titanium now. So useless, I'm just wasting. <laughs> I'm just completely wasting it. So I feel really weird right now from like really super, super great update. Even though I knew that titanium is useless, but now when I actually got to feel that titanium is useless, I feel that the update is even worse. But I would still probably place it as the best season that we've had because I just completely rushed to get that boat and a lot of players still haven't assembled their boat. And in my opinion, the most fun thing about this game is to grind. So it's fun to grind for that boat. It's gonna be fun to grind for that lighthouse. And hopefully by the time most of the players assemble their boat and their lighthouse, we're gonna get a new update with laboratory that will make titanium more useful. And maybe they're also gonna add more recipes with that titanium. Maybe a little change how Kevlar are Armor is crafted. Maybe we'll add, we'll get new armor. You know what? Maybe I would spend 140 steel to craft this assault armor, right? But again, that assault armor would have to be like insanely good. It would never have to break because there is no way I would craft this. I mean, I would craft this assault armor just for the memes. I would spend my 140 steel just for this assault armor. But like for Kevlar armor, dude, really? So what are your thoughts about this update? Do you agree that it's still fine to assemble the boat and assemble the lighthouse and hope that in the future titanium is more useful? Or you think that it's all just goop? <laughs> so I highly suggest you checking out my The Long Dark Let's Player. Click here on the second card and you'll go to my Scum Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter, at Mm-hmm. Yep.